Welcome to the Azam Sharp channel. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam. And in this particular screencast, I will talk about ease actions and effects that are part of the Coco Studio framework. Now, ease actions and effects are very, very important if you want to give life to your game. Okay, so we're going to talk about these two things. If I run the current uh, application, you will just see that I have a sprite that is displayed on a black background don't really have a background yet so we have this uh, spaceship and it's displaying on the simulator as you can see it doesn't really do anything so let's go ahead and uh, perform some sort of uh, ease actions to it so ease action if you uh, by definition let me actually drag another window oh I can't oh here we go so this is the uh, basically the documentation for ease actions. They are special composition actions. They alter the time of the interaction. Okay. So basically, what you can do is you can create some kind of a cool effects like bouncy effect, elastic effect. Um, you can have like a ease in action, ease out action, and there are like a lot of uh, effects that will allow you to uh, you know put you can put in your game, which will give or add life to your game. Okay. The best way to learn is to just, you know, see that in action. So let's actually create an action. Uh, this will be a CC move to action. And we are going to move, uh, let's say, 2.0. Oops. Uh, position. We are going to move to position, I don't know, let's say it's a 320 divided by 2. And... Um, I don't know, four, so let's say the window size or so 480. Okay, so this is the action. Uh, I'm going to declare an ease action over here and let's say CC ease. Now you have, you can see there are different kind of actions like ease in, ease out, ease back, okay, ease elastic, and there are just a bunch of action. Uh, that you can you know you can use in your application so we are just going to use let's say ease in okay and it has a uh, parameters like action with action and then the rate we're going to use this one how fast we want it to move action in this case will be our action and rate will be let's say one okay and uh, we are already exposing our spaceship through the use of properties so we can simply apply that particular action to it. Uh, sprite run action ease. So let's go ahead and run this. And now when I click the button, you will see that, you know, it kind of like eases into the movement. You know, it did kind of like uh, start up fast and gradually slows down. Okay. Let's actually see uh, if I increase the rate. Not sure why this is a, a Camtasia is actually running kind of slow right now. It seems like it. So here we go. It, it actually it it, uh, it starts slowly and then ease into the faster acceleration. Okay, sorry about that. Now you can use different actions. Of course, uh, you can have like elasticity and all that. Let's actually use elasticity, which will be more much more visible. Ease and uh, CC is, uh, let's say where is elasticity. Here we go, elastic in and out. We're just going to use that one. Um, and action with action or period. So we are going to use over here um, action, so, uh, which is our you know, move to action. And period is for three seconds. And no, it didn't. All right. Didn't really. Let's see what's going on. Moving to a uh, period. Uh, let's say that maybe I have to use something else over here. CC is, um, I don't know, is elastic. Actually, it has to be is elastic in and out that I used. Uh, let's actually give this period 0 
there we go you, you, you saw that so if you, you have to give like you know a, a kind of like a low uh number it i think it works for 0 0.3 and 0 0.7 or something like that let me actually check on the documentation uh 0 0.3 and 0 0.45 because if you give like too much elasticity you can think of it like the elastic band is kind of like breaking or tearing apart okay so it's not going to work let's actually check out another one which is a uh, bounce cc ease bounce in and out it's kind of similar to the elasticity and it's uh you know you can uh mostly it will be visible i think when you are you know building an actual game in this case here we go action and let's actually run that and of course your inner action which is the move to it doesn't have to be moved to here we go bounce bounce you know you, you can see the effects actually going on but you can actually change your inner action so i don't have to use this particular action i can simply say that hey i want to use something something else like say i want to use cc rotate by action okay and uh let's say over here i can say 5.0 and angle is 360 so i can use a different action nothing is actually stopping me so now it it's kind of be like like a clock ticking and kind of you know bouncing clock or something see so you can have like different actions over here one of the cool things uh, besides action are the effects so let's actually use those effects for effects words i will uh, go ahead and add a background to our page so let's go ahead and uh, create a sprite uh, i will say background equal to cc sprite and then sprite with file um, and i think our background is space background dot png Okay, I'm just going to add that to the layer self uh, dot, well, self add. No, not self, but a layer. Not really sure why this is really, really running slow. Add child uh, background. And what I'm going to do is give it a Z index of minus one and tag it with 100 because we're going to later retrieve this value. Okay, let's actually run this. So you can actually see the background. The background might not be visible correctly. Oops. Okay, hold on a second. I think I wrote PNG and I think it's a JPEG file. Okay, yeah. So let's say JPG and also uh, just set up the anchor point for that. Let's go ahead and say background dot uh, anchor point is uh, origin, which is zero comma zero. Let's run that now. And now if you run it, you will see a very nice, pretty awesome actually looking background displayed, okay? And uh, since the background is on the negative one index, it's actually behind, it's on, on the layer which is actually behind the first one, which is zero, which uh, on which the spaceship is actually displayed, okay? So now we can actually have some really cool effects uh, we have already tagged it with 100 so we can retrieve the value from the layer um, let's comment this out or let's, let's not comment this out let's see uh, if I can get, just simply get the value back sprite uh, background and a layer and then see this uh, Uh, I think I. Uh, it's uh, what is the command to get it back? Get child or something? Oh, it has to be self. I'm sorry. Self get child by tag, and we we assign the tag hundred, and we can simply convert this to CC. Uh, tremendously slow. This Xcode is running right now because of Camtasia. Okay, here we go. So we get the background and now we can actually add the effect so i'm just going to say effect equal to and you can have like different effects that you can use um 
I'm just going to use CC waves. And you can have different things over here. Action with waves. Um, you know, we can have 10 over here, 10 amplitude. Horizontal, yes, please. Vertical, yes. And then uh, we can use the grid size, which is CCG 10, 10,10. Okay. And the duration, how long the wave is going to last, is actually 3. And uh, finally, if I need to run the effect, I can simply say background and run action and the effect that I want to run. So let's run the application. And uh, now when I click, you will see, here we go. You can, can you see? You can see the, the background actually moving or waving like that. It's pretty cool actually, right? And there are multiple effects that you can actually use. Uh, let's actually look at the liquid effect. I really like the liquid effect. Uh, so, oops, liquid equal to CC liquid. Oops, uh, here we go. And then it has, of course, different uh, parameters, uh, waves, 10 waves, ampli amplitude 10, CCG, uh, the grid size. The grid is basically each node is divided to grid. So that is a grid size. And then the duration, which is uh, 3. Oh, I need to add a liquid over here. And let's run this. So now when I click over here, you can actually see it's kind of like a liquid effect if you if you touch the standing water, you know, the background is behaving as a liquid. It's pretty cool. And if uh, these effects, uh, if you use these effects wisely, they can really, really bring out the game and, uh, you know, make it a very, very good experience. So that is pretty much it uh, for this video. We learned about the ease actions. We also learned about uh, different kind of effects that you can use to enhance your game experience. And hopefully in the future tutorial, we'll cover something new. Uh, like particle effects or tile maps or something like that. Thank you very much and hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.